Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got a, an exciting new video segment I'd like to share with you guys today. Uh, to start off with, as you can see my front tables here, this is where I do all the building for all the videos uh, in the front of my store. And on Saturdays, a group of my friends will come down and they actually do building around here because Saturdays are usually pretty busy that I can't get much building done. So they come in here and take up all these spots and, and actually do some pretty fantastic work. So what I thought I would do with you from now on is, and occasionally, once they get a model kit built up, we'll bring it out, we'll show you sprue shots, uh, the built up vehicle, the whole, everything around it, basically everything but painting. So it's going to be like a more expansive review rather than just showing you a box and opening it and saying, here are the sprues, take a look at them, that's it. But uh, this will give you guys a better idea, we'll give you some tips and pointers about putting it together. Uh, the first one we're going to do is Trumpeter's T-80BV main battle tank. Now over the fat last couple of years, Trumpeter has come out with a huge, huge amount of modern day Russian armor. In fact, I'd have to imagine there's probably a hundred kits that have come out in the last five, six years. And this is one of their nice ones that came out just a couple of years ago, all state of the art molding lots and lots of parts. So some of these modern Russian tanks can have up to, in fact this one has like a thousand fifty parts which some guys absolutely love and my friend Daniel had built this one up which I will slide over here and show you. Uh, did an absolutely wonderful job on it. And what I'll do is I'll show it more in depth in a few minutes but just kind of give you the overview how this video is going to run and or in the future as well. So what we'll do on those is we'll show you some of the sprue shots like I was saying, we'll show you some details of all the vehicle, just give you a, a pretty good idea what to expect when you go ahead and build one of these kits. Now it won't just be trumpeter kits, it'll be all kinds of other unusual kits, maybe some sci-fi, all different types of things like that. Now because this is the first video I actually filmed the review portion of this already so I might repeat a little bit of what I've been saying to you guys right now so forgive me on that I wasn't sure about how this whole segment was gonna go but after uh, talking it through with some of these guys I really think this will be a really good help for the modeler who has no idea what to expect when you you know you walk into a hobby store and you see this kit and you're like, well, what's inside and how hard was it so we'll be doing all different brands all kinds of cool things like that. Now this is on top of all the other builds because you know I usually can knock out maybe five to seven model kits a month depending on you know timing with the inside here but this will give you guys some more content and really help the modeler out there that wants to see what all these other type of kits are about. So uh, enough talking let's get started on it. Okay, here is the uh, the first model that we're going to uh, look at, and this is the uh, Trumpeter 135th scale Russian T80 BV main battle tank. And I'll first do is just give you kind of a 360 from a couple different angles, slowly let you see what's actually involved with this kit. Then after that, we can uh, talk a little bit about the build process, what goes into it, things like that. Also thought I would give you a little bit more of an overhead view, because there is lots of detail in the, uh, the turret between all the ERA armor, grills, things like that, and even all the little tiny photo etches on the inside here. And with the extreme close-up here, you can see a lot more in-depth into the uh, the photo etch parts that went into this, as well as some of the details for the ERA armor. Now, as for uh, fit and finish on the kit, as you can see, the kit builds up beautifully once it's done. Now, there is a lot, a lot of parts on this kit, like I was saying earlier, so it is going to be a time-consuming kit, but a lot of guys like that. Fit-wise, uh, very, very little minor little things that there were some areas that had a little, little tiny bit of a fit problem. One of the biggest problems that he pointed out to me was on this front ERA armor. 
there's actually supposed to be five blocks of ERA armor going across the front here. And no matter how he tried to work it and still get the same angle that the box art shows, the five would not fit in there. So uh, it's a little, uh, he has four on there now instead. So looks looks still good though. And there was just some, some little areas that he added in some of his own styrene parts. So you can see in the back here, the the photo etch for doing all the little class was a little tedious getting them in there, but just using the smallest amount of super glue worked pretty well. So after he uh, built the whole kit, after wanted to talk to him about what he actually felt about it and he's actually starting another uh, Russian 1200 part kit so he did enjoy it overall so he got a little a uh, little frustrated here and there but that's that's modeling in general but like I said he did enjoy it and the fit was very very good and would definitely recommend if you're looking for modern day Russian armor uh, this is one of the kits to uh, take a look at now trumpeter makes I think believe three different t80 kits so this is one of them i actually was looking at some of the other ones on my store rack i have to look a little further to see if there's a fourth one that has finally come out but uh very very beautiful kit now we're going to talk about the tracks now the tracks are not completely attached on here and these are not the actual kit tracks these are a working set of tracks that trumpeter produces what i'll do is i'll move this out of the way and show you the box for the uh for the tracks. Now the, the tracks inside are, are very, very nice looking tracks that come in the kit, but they are not workable. They're a, uh, an individual track length that you build up, but they are static. If you take the time and you want to build the, the actual workable tracks, Trumpeter, like I said, does make this aftermarket kit, and this is designed um, for the T80 kit. And as you saw earlier, they're completely workable. We'll pop this open real fast as well. Now this in itself presents even more parts and a little bit more uh, work on these. So when you get inside of these, they, they have the individual connectors on the side here that'll connect that together. And that's what actually makes them workable. So it's mainly a matter of cutting them off the sprue uh, sanding them down, getting them cleaned up. You do have to glue the guide horn in, but the uh, the tracks actually went together fairly easily and quickly, he was pointing out, other than cutting off all the parts. So, and you get, you should get five, five big bags like this with five sprues inside. So a little bit of work to it, but it is nice having the ability to have them completely work. And I had him actually leave it like this so I could show you. He's going to finish putting the rest of them all the way around. But the ability to have them work like that is, is kind of a nice little option on it. So that's the, uh, the kit in a nutshell. Now stay tuned after I'm done talking here. I have taken individual photos of all the sprues. And there are 17 different sprues in this kit plus a little the photo etch and decals, things like that. But we've got each one of those and a nice uh, picture that you can freeze frame and actually take a look at each one of the sprues if you want to. Now, keep in mind in the future, I'll probably be doing another video too. Once we get a few more of these built up, we might do an all-in-one video of painting the Russian armor and weathering, but that, that's gonna be a little bit farther in the future once he gets a few more Russian armor kits built up as well.
so I hope you enjoyed our new segment on this review. And uh, thank you for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.